8.37, not bad. Yeah, it's great. Uh, it's fantastic. Like, I feel like this is the beginning of my season. Uh, I haven't been jumping very well, like, beginning of the season, but uh, I had, like, quite a few hiccups. Uh, my ankle was, like, bothering me, but today I pulled out 8.37. I'm quite happy about it. World Championships still later in the year. What can we expect? Um, there's so much um, things that are going to happen in the World Champs. Uh, because uh, there's a lot of jumpers now. Jumpers are, are like are turning up fire now. Like Gail just jumped 832. So it's gonna quite gonna be a, a tense meeting. It's gonna be exciting. I think the, the the main event is gonna be long jump. Were you disappointed the new kid on the block wasn't here today? I was quite disappointed because like the competition with, with, with only like two jumpers who jumping over 830. There were not all of them there. It's it's quite a little bit boring. I can say that, but I was quite not sure what happened to him like I, I hope he's, there's nothing bad happened to him but I'm looking forward to see him in, in the final I was hoping to see him jumping against me so I can see myself how how's my my, 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 my my fitness is it really because he's the guy that gives me that adrenaline pumping he's the one he's the one who gets you to the next level he's the only person who can do that to me <laughs> So are you predicting that we might possibly have something like 1991 when we had a Mike Power Carl Lewis, possibly? Definitely, like you're going to have that on, in the final Diamond League and the, uh, the part two on the, on the World Champs. Now, I want to ask you about something which has been, you know, festering for a while. This Castasimania situation, you being a South African. Share your thoughts on the whole thing. Um, I just want to say, like, um, rules are the rules. Like, we have no control as an athlete. We just have to, to raise our voices and say what we feel about it. But uh, at the end of the day, we're not making rules. Only one person can make that rule. We just have to follow the rules. But I think it's not fair for her because it's been happening before. They didn't do anything about it. I think the technology, as the, the, the year goes by, some, there's many changes in sport. But uh, I think at the end of the day, it's part of life like you have to just accept that it is and let's just go go with it but surely she's not the only one who's been in this situation why what are your thoughts on them choosing to only enforce it on certain you know certain events i think like uh, how she she's she been like benefit uh, like um competing he's been like one of the best since many years ago like dominating in many events like even one thousand five i think that's why people are, like are judging her like that is there a possibility though uh, if she decides to move up to the events where she wouldn't need to take medication and she still beats them that they might well come back and say well i know castle very well like she will take that medicine and beat them with that medication it doesn't matter which event she goes to she's going to show them Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much.